that exist. And, you know, it is going to be somewhat of a force for them. So there is firepower, but the way that we're seeing the approach here from Immortals is looking quite good. That recon dart is going to make things, or it looks like it makes things quite easy for Neptune, but he's going to get taken down. And in the chaos, Envy are finding some frags. Yeah, quickly a 3v2. Jamo's low as he gets dropped by Caboose. The sheriffs are coming up big. Here's a reload. Comes in for Caboose. Can his shots ring true? There's one to the face of Neptune. Will he be able to send this one over the moon? One more left. shot to the left. He's got to make this work for himself. Gangsta as well. Oh, gets himself a gun. Oh, he, even with the steps there, he's able to find Gangsta. That's going to be the round. On that raise towards the B-long position. On top of that crane, not to come back to that in the moment, though, because food will actually make a forward play there towards the A-nest and, and beyond towards the belt. And that's actually going to work out quite nicely, taking the aggression straight to Immortals is benefiting Envy marvelously well so far. Mummy loves that area. We see him working the pipes there in A over and over, or Envy won't expect it, and it won't be stacked one of these times or any. Three there, though, for Envy. It's going to be a quick trade and retribution kill there coming in for his teammate. FNS drops another one as him and Mummy are playing quite well on the A site. There's another kill as JC Stani is able to trade. Yeah, I think we get some grounds here, but... The question is if they're able to find the space and the time to find a plant. Get that spike pressure on Envy, but Envy looking quite strong here. Mummy and food to yeah. finish things. Coming in from Immortals was Split, one of the best for Envy. And on Split defense, it's Caboose that's going forward. So Caboose and Food switching up that aggression on how they're going to play, who's going to be going forward to get info on D. And they both seem to be able to do it well here. Defending A once again just seems to be the site. Maybe there's something we don't know. Maybe there's something we don't know. Two more kills coming in for Immortals. And this looks like they should be able to solidify the round with positioning. JC Stani makes that a little bit more possible. Yeah, this is very difficult. That oh, oh, my <laughs> word! Ready for that one. It always does feel like there will be a single dry peak to find one of these angles. Here, they're going to use the drones on both sides and figure they may be coming up. But it just seems like a quick firefight first and not a strat to be happening here. And I think that obviously just makes it quite inconsistent when you're trying to attack. And Immortals getting a few kills onto this one, though, as they use the smokes to their advantage and let Envy push into the damage. Oh, he's going down. I don't believe he's able to use his his ultimate there. That's quite unfortunate. Showstopper would have been great, but Food is going to try to remedy this by once again being so incredibly annoying. Paranoia goes through, but the Leer will deal with Food as it now is yep. on to Mummy. And one versus four is not looking all that good, of course. Has to respect that Immortals will not throw this one away to him. And there we go. Finally, it works. You know, yep. eventually it's, it's going to work. <laughs> so <laughs> Let it be known. The, uh, Immortals. Only and eight times will you stop us, says Immortals. <laughs> and you know what, Riv? You know, it, they're going to get their third round on the board. And although yeah, it yeah, yeah. really has looked very bad for Immortals, they're only down three rounds against Envy right now. And it may be the that can cause a lot of damage, whether he's on his jet or his omen. And we do hear a blade storm coming out, answered from food as he gets traded back. Yeah, that's a great pick, though, onto the jet. And there are some good ultimates available, at least there was here, for Envy coming in on the retake. We'll have to see what they're able to do as Finesse tries to get some love here from Rafters, but he's being shut down. Two players on his position on that angle, not allowing him any entry. He needs some assistance here from Caboose. And Caboose, well, he's not going to have any luck, and that will signal the end for Finesse as well. So Immortals, they're finally making a little bit of chaos that could really work well here. And I think that is gelling for them on the side of Immortals. Showstopper's going to come out. No answer on to that one. It's shot up. Gets Mummy to start this one off with the first blood. Oh, oh food. That's very unfortunate for him. Caboose, oh! actually, he's fighting oh back, though. Dear. Neptune jumping straight up. Caboose, again, he is looking to do so much damage here. Oh, it's going to be very difficult to survive, though, but it will work out. The boom bot finishes off JMO, and Finesse is there right in the nick of time. Wow. Before Gangster can recover, and it's a full rotation. Great stuff there from Envy. First, the use of containers and snow pile there. As you can see, them moving around. Crashies is trying to take an inner route to make sure nobody gets himself into a spot that can drop Envy. And cat and mouse, they don't even know each other are there. I love these situations. Oh, down. Oh, what a right click from Neptune. Says, thank you very much. Not sure it can even pick up that specter, though, as now it's going to be a fight here towards the out. How? Oof. Nice fight. Crashies onto JMO, but will they be able to answer back? Crashies again.
Yeah, absolutely. It's for this eco, it's it's like the death ball strategy. We saw five a day. Now they're rolling over to the B site. Here on Snowpile, Caboose takes one down. Looks like he's cooking in the kitchen. Too many cooks, though. JC Stani drops Caboose. And Crashies is going to be able to find a few towards that Snowpile as well. They're just having a hate. Teams taking area for free. Use less utility. Get into sites a bit easier. Maybe a little bit of a use of utility here by Caboose. Goes straight in. Looks for the back onto the rafters. He'll find one to his right. That's Gangsta going down. 4 HP now as he infiltrates the spawn of Immortals. What kind of havoc can he wreak in this position, though, DDK? <laughs> I, yeah, oh, oh, no! My gosh. Laser onto Neptune's face, and <gasps> this is looking quite desperate as the fast rotation will come through. Envy, though, they have better positions. This is what we're talking about. They always are able to engineer the oh best positions. Word. And this is another round. So a bit of map play here by JC Stani could come out of that Omen ultimate. A few are on the side of Envy as well. Empress ready to be used there by Food as he picks up his first kill. And Caboose will drop JMO even though he tries to cloudburst his way out of that snow pile area. A little reset here. And it's already Food too far forward. They're going to be able to trade each other. And again, Envy right there behind to get the trades in. Working. And here it is. Equals B the whole time. And in they go. That's not a bad start for Neptune. Cannot follow it up with the double though. Slow take. We're watching Shot up now as he waits for somebody to come to the Dark Shroud. What will happen? Planted. He knows that actually came from quite close, so he can call that food was at least right next to that spawn door. The retake's going to be tried. This is a tough one. Knowing you have to come into sight, both sides watch. Great drone to set them up to get in. You are going to see Mummy in the back of Boathouse, and he may be the last one to have a say about this, as now Immortals is trying the entry. One He's looking man. very dangerous. Shot up there coming through with that Reyna. Oh, the There's bullets mommy. are not going to do it. Then. Feeling it right now. Flawless. Presented by Prime Gaming. Beautiful round there by Envy to bring that one in. And a push towards Cat. Quick dismiss. And Caboose wants more. He goes back for a JMO. Maybe even a third. Oh, but he could be seen. And it's going to be the right click coming in that takes him down. A quick trade at Tree. And it looks like it is Envy who have planted themselves as the advantage in this round. And shot up will do what he can again with the sheriff. This always excites me, but again, Caster Curry was completely sight reposition. But here, mid is the best advantage for that to happen. On, I'm ready to see Immortal start to take a few more of these. Oh my word! No! Oh god, that's me, Caster Curse again. But cra <laughs> what is crash? He's really coming up great left. on that one. And DDK. It just seems like even though Immortals will have an answer to what Envy is doing, Envy quickly answers back perfectly to that attack. Neptune at the back of the sign here, looking to do what he can with the Vandal in hand. They jump across the challenge. Only the one, though, <gasps> Gangster, able to find wow. some space to work with, but not the frag, left. unfortunately. Blinded. The blind comes through, the paranoia, JC Stani and Gangster working hand in hand to dominate this Incredible. defense. And the spike defuse comes through. Immortals off the back of just some individual brilliance will pick up a round. Patience is on the menu for a bit as they get the utility and necessary call here coming in from JMO that there's going to be some love towards Tree and we get an Empress out from Caboose. How will Envy make their way towards A? It's known now, but can they get past the defense of Immortals? It's definitely looking difficult, but Caboose is a scary prospect. Charging through with that Empress, Ooh. able to take down JC Stani. Picks up that heal. And this is very scary for JMO. Able to hold on to that position. Doesn't really have to be challenged all too hard right now for Envy's sake. But here comes Jamie Whoa! once again. Great flick onto Mummy, and now there might be a way back in. Oh my god, Jamo! The champion of this one. Can they make it happen? FNS behind the gen. That's gonna be a tough shot for an operator, and Jamo goes down. Low HP for both. Cypher on Cypher action. Both are wearing their caps, so it's gonna be easy to shoot the other one, and it's gonna be the right click jumper from it FNS. Though, or was it going to be a reset back to B? Those are the two options. And it's going to be Envy heading up on that A site. Two versus four now. The spike is being planted on Jen. But this is a lot to deal with. But Finesse, he's shown time and again, he's good enough for it. What a shot. Really just eagle eye when he's trying to protect these catch situations you. or can catch you just off guard. Seems like Finesse really has a great opportunity in those situations. And the 3v2 is slow. Waiting for the dart. So they're waiting for that countdown coming in here from Gangsta. Now they're going to be trying to take the site. 
Oh my word, picture perfect from Envy as they get the... So they wanted to get that aggression going, didn't work out. Envy set themselves up to deal with early round aggression and they will not be caught up oh. but... Hey man, if you've got the share of shots in the back oh. here, JC Stanley threatening another one, but he gets himself out of dodge. There's shot up, you gotta watch when he's pulling that revolver out. Could be your face getting blown off and great opening kills here to start off. Even to hurt Envy's economy on a save round. Neptune drops one as well, Crashies falls, and now a 3v2 here for Immortals. Yeah, this is a little bit scary. And Gangsta, <gasps> Time to get this one, but Finesse finds him. And that's going to allow clearance on the A site for the spike to go down. And the pressure, despite Immortals having that three versus two numbers advantage, the pressure's really on them, though. Not a lot of utility to get back in on top of this one. And now the numbers have been equalized. Yep. Finesse playing from A mains picked up that Phantom. Just crouch happen. Crouch, crouch. Ooh. Wants to go fast, but wants to be quiet. Push out, so this is gonna be the Frenzy and the Vandal. Vandal still up, it's a possibility. Shot up with one. Dismiss over to the spike. Plenty of time left, he goes through the... Oh, oh. One, bringing up here, and then you see Immortals losing a few of theirs. So as I said before, both teams kind of rebuilding. But as, as we saw FNS saying, crashies and food instantly fit something that they need, and aggression and fraggers, and man, have they just popped off in that sense since they joined the team. Jamo, he's he's been great at hitting his shots, but it's just the opportunities oh, have been oh, limited. Oh. Nice updraft though. With the daggers, able to find Caboose. Still a couple players left here. And it's 2v2. The TP to get out of that position under the rafters. That's really smart. And that even has a lineup with the pings there. And well, Mummy's gonna be able to finish things off. And mm -hmm. he is so good at consistently getting better positions. That tends to be why they come out on top. But here we go. A lot more aggression towards his A main position. They don't have to commit to this. But, oh, Caboose. This could be huge, Riv. They do not know that he's here. A freebie there for Caboose off the Sheriff. He doesn't find a follow-up, though. That's unfortunate for him. But he's causing problems. He's causing them to go back to A main to find him. Oh. And eventually he gets pinched. But they had to give up space on the site to do that. Will that pay off for Envy? Looks like it won't. Immortals still in a strong position. What a start to the round. And it looks like Immortals will still find the kills they need, as you were saying. Uh, I absolutely love seeing that as well, how Caboose played it. Dismissing off to the side, but not realizing there would still be the flank through tree and through main. Yeah, they did a good job in contesting the B main control. It was not retaken by Envy, so perfect there from Immortals and their opening, slowing things down. Caboose forced back by the recon, dark, dark cover there to cover tree, allows their entry, they're split onto the A site, looking coordinated, looking good here for Immortals, two openings. Caboose there tries to find a headshot with the Sheriff, unable to do so. Great oh. look here so far from Immortals, but there is still some life yet no. in Envy as Finesse able to take down Jamo. No, surely not. Almost with a follow-up there as well onto shot up. That was close. Tough. Yeah, definitely where they want to save the operator here. You don't want to give that up to JMO. He's been pretty on fire as well here. JC Stani's been stepping up for Immortals. The door behind Mummay now. Going to have to take that out if he gets pressured. It looks like they may do it slowly. JC Stani tries his hand, gets the shot. That means they move a little bit closer and gain some ground, forcing the alts out of Mummay now. My ultimate is not ready. Yeah. So, and that is really problematic. Now JC Stanny from A main, he's got to do a lot for his team here because they only otherwise have site control. This is gonna, oh, and now he's smoked off. This is looking very grim, Riv. Shot up with Empress right there. JC Stani patiently waiting. Beautiful job by Shot Up. They're not gonna know where he dismisses. Two Stani and Shot Up! Take out four immediately! What a round coming in! It's coming in. They see, they hear that drone, and with the other information that they have that we just talked about, they know it has to be a commitment towards uh -oh. this A site. Everybody from A main. Now, this is not yet committed. It could be reset out of, but there comes the dash. They're going to try to make this one work, and Mummy oh through the cage. It's doing the damage. Headshots left and right, and there's nothing left. No. Of Immortals, unbelievable defense from N. Uh, hurt them in the previous round. Oh. Get 
gets him right in the heel. Mome goes down. That is a gigantic frag to start off the first blood of this possible end around Caboose. Says no. We'll answer back with a little bit better. The collateral going in with the Phantom from B Main. And it looks like the team of Immortals wants revenge. This is going to be hard to fight back from. So they have a minute to try to do so. It's three versus four, so it could be worse for Immortals. And we've seen the skill on the team. JMO is still alive. He's been doing some insane things. Yeah. However, Kaboos there with the Leer. That's going to slow him down. And they may overlook the position of Finesse here in this cubby. There's the trade, but they can't afford to be traded. They don't have the numbers to play the trade game. And Gangster is all alone against three. And it's going to be a hell of a job to make this one work. Turns from the flash, but... Food will take him down regardless. 13 to 11, great recovery.